Steve Harder is Mr. Sean O'Gavin. Show Liam Sartarish Punkam August Shohe and Kid Rang Ella a Vegayen Vagun and Ocht. Bonaha er on Dear Clina. Dear Clina Hain Oxado, the first and second declension. Uh, Tafalt Rotz, go Liam Sartarish Okam. As I say, my name is John Gavin. And tonight we'll be taking a look at the next lesson which examines the critical grammar errors or issues around the Tishiginaruk and some of the errors that people are constantly encountering as a result of not knowing what a declension is and how to make the changes. So hopefully tonight, if you viewed our lesson from last week, you'll be able to get a good idea as to how to tackle the Tishiginaruk moving forward and how to make some of the changes. And what I'm trying to do here tonight is to build your confidence around making the actual changes to the word. So last week we took a look in depth at the, I suppose, the, the, the critical issues that people experience concerning uh, the definite article. And just maybe to bring uh, some of the screens up very quickly that we took a look at, we were looking at things like the girl's book, the girl's book, uh, the woman's bike, uh, the priest's house, things like that. And uh, it was a very, very substantial lesson in terms of content and duration. So that's all available to you on the app and uh, you'll be able to also um, go back through it on the YouTube channel and you should be able to um, catch up I suppose on what the essential elements were. So I'm going to now hopefully uh, get through to the main lesson and uh, tonight um, uh, tonight I'm going to uh, begin by looking at the Leaving Cert Irish app first of all and um, what I'm going to just let you know is that you can download it from the Google App Store uh, or the Google Play Store or indeed for the from the Apple iTunes Store and um, uh, it's available for $2.99 and you can download that immediately. Okay, so I'm just going to get on to the main part of the lesson now and first of all just a reminder from last week um, we had um, Okay, we're just having a, s a few small technical issues here and uh, I'm just going to very quickly um, deal with this before I go forward. So just give me one moment here, sorry. Okay, so sorry, we just had a, a few technical issues there. So just to get into the main part of the lesson tonight, on Tishel Anamnach. If you remember last week, we had a masculine noun and feminine. So masculine indicated here by the blue color and feminine by the pink. Consonant, with a consonant, we made no change at the start of the uh, noun. With a vowel, a gutta, we put a T hyphen. So on far, on tassel, they were two of the examples we were looking at last week. And consen with a feminine noun, we put a H in it. So the typical one is on van. And then if you look at a gutta, uh, you take something like on a rosh or something like that. So there's nothing before it. Now, here's the critical thing tonight, because we're going to be working with on Tisha Ginnuk the whole way through. And what you're going to find is that we are making effectively the opposite changes in many respects. All of a sudden, a consonant for a masculine noun tonight is going to have a H applied to it. Now, this is critical to understand because if I just flip back to the previous chart, when it was the Tisha Anamnok, the nominative case, um, it was not required, but it will be required with a masculine noun tonight, and that's going to create a lot of confusion. Similarly, with on tassel, you know, you had a T hyphen. Now you won't have anything. And in the case of consonants with feminine, you lose the H that you previously had on the noun. Uh, in some cases, you could put in a H before it if it begins with a vowel. So there's going to be quite a bit of confusion. Hopefully, having done enough examples later on this evening, you will be in a position to understand this properly. Okay. So let's get into it straight away. Um, I'm going to just use my revealer tool here to make sure 
that you know exactly what's going on. Uh, means the first declension. Now, I always explain this in class as a declension is simply uh, a grouping of words with similar properties. And it's no more complicated than that. It doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. So, the first declension. And so the nouns associated with this declension they are Tashid Firinchkinoch, they're masculine. Kritni and Shid er Hansen Lahan, they finish on a broad consonant. Now if you're in difficulty with this concept of quail quail lahan la lahan, I have a lesson as part of a course I do on this that uh, will help you to understand quail quail lahan lahan. But most of you should understand the basic concept of broad and slender. Your slender vowels are E and I. Your broad vowels are A, O and U. So quail is E and I. A, O and U are uh, broad. So consonant will A, O, U, no, A, E, Riva is what we're talking about. Isundul, Gugritni and Sheed, they normally finish on. And these are typical endings for the first declension. A for the N, C, H, E for the A, D. E for the L, E for the N, E for the R. S lahan, that means a broad S, so A S, um, U S, uh, or O S, so it won't be E S or I S. And then U for the N, U for the R, A D H. Now, here's the good news um, before I go into that. A huge number of the words in the language happen to have these endings. So that is really important for you to understand. And I think that as you begin to see these examples, you'll see those commonalities. And then Finally, in the singular genitive, and that's the only thing I'm really going to look at tonight, is Antisha Ginnaruk Iver Uha. Because if I start talking about the plural of the Tisha Ginnaruk, you're going to get completely confused between Tisha Lanamnok, Tisha Ginnaruk Iver Uha, Tisha Ginnaruk Iver Ulra. You will get completely confused by this. So I want to avoid that. The, the trick here is to master the singular genitive first. And if you do that, I can assure you, you're going to have a much better grip of what's going on. Okay. Now, as always in our live sessions, if you've got any question, you can send the questions through to me to admin at leavencertirish.com. So if you have any questions, I have a Gmail window open here beside me and I will get the questions in. Um, I won't mention your full name or give out any details, but if you have any questions, send them to admin at uh, leavencertirish.com that's definitely uh, the best way to do with these tonight and I have a, an account of them then and we can track back onto them where necessary so um, so we're going to go through each one nice and slow here I'm going to take a word on couple we're all familiar with the term the horse now from our lesson last week the first thing you should always be looking out for is is there a h on the noun or not well there shouldn't be a h on couple because this is a masculine noun it ends in a l l it's typical enough masculine ending and crucially one of the rules ends in a consonant uh, a broad consonant this a is broad it makes the l and the l broad if you like so a broad consonant um so the crucial bit is it ends in a consonant and the last vowel before those consonants were broad this l represents what we call a log ulra okay a weak plural now i've already said just a moment ago we're not going to go into uh the whole log ulra issue or train ulra or tissue general plural but this will become relevant in another lesson um later on where we talk about train ulra and log ulra but that's what that symbol is. So on couple is a log ulra. So I've just broken into a number of things. First of all, what case? A tishal, remember, is a case. A case is, as we described last week, simply a situation with words. And then the Ivaruhu is singular and the Ivarulra is plural. So we're simply looking at situations with words. So in the nominative case, so a simple sentence where there's no possession or there's no not two nouns coming together. We had six cases, if you remember, last week. Uh, so we're, you know, ní gréibh a cohit, ní gréibh a hímplí, gáimhochalacéla, shelaf, caniacht. All those. We had six cases. You can go back and look at that video of Nestri. But with the nominative case, 
Huygen Koppel Stocksa Fork. So very simply, the horse went into the field. There's no connection between Koppel and any other word here. And the plural of horse is na Koppel, tona Koppel sa Fork. That's simple. So with plurals in this case, you just slender it out, right? Now, what we're interested in, so that's simple enough. I think every one of you could do that. And based on last week's lesson, you should know that you don't put a H in here. Now, here's where it all begins to change. When you've got the Tisha Ginnaruk, you've got some kind of property, one of six properties that cause the word koppel, the noun koppel, to go into Tisha Ginnaruk. So now, shine stable an chapel. That is the horse's stable, its possession, right? So what we know as shelov from last week. So if it's possession, the rule is very simple. In the first declension, this is the first example we see, on remains it on, a masculine noun requires a H, where possible, if you can put in a shevu, a H. And because it's first declension, the rule at the end of the word. Now, all of our declensions essentially focus on the end of the word. The definite article will determine, and the gender, sorry, will determine what happens with the on and the started word. But the thing that we are totally focused on tonight, because we're talking about declensions, which are, again, um, words with similar properties, essentially similar endings. And what we're trying to do is figure out how do we change these endings. So the rule with the first declension, again, if you went back to it in a moment, we'll just have a look at it again to remind ourselves, is you try to slender out, quailiter, there an animal. So the end of the noun needs to be slender. That means effectively put in an I. And this is the tishel gineruk iver ulra, so tishel gineruk plural, which we want to stay away, away from, but it turns to nagapal, right? And as you can see, the I has been removed. This is directly related to a term I mentioned up here, log ulra. I really don't want to get into this tonight. So just to kind of make this absolutely clear, we are not going to be dealing with this element tonight, the Shinid Stablinak Gapel. We're not going to look at Tishaginruk, plural. We're going to leave that out for tonight. So this is what we're focused on here. Right, let's look at on far. And this is probably the key to all of this, I think. A word that you know so well. So on far, the man. Again, it's a logalra, which means a weak plural. So let's look at a simple situation, Tisha Anamnach, where you've got the word man. So, ta on farigeha, no h, the man is eating, dead simple. Plural of man is fair, ta na fair egeha. The man is eating, the men are eating. There's no tisha ginnuk involved in either of those sentences. However, if we go down here to the next one, we see we've got ta hata an ir salach. So, it's hat of the man. Again, it's possession, like stablan kapel, this is hata nir, so shelev. So what are the rules? And this is what you need to start doing. Number one, does on remain as on? Number two, ever a do. What do you do at the beginning of the word, at the beginning of the noun? So here, can an F take a H? Yes, it can. So on remains as on, it takes the H. And crucially, one of the standard changes in the first declension is EA goes to I. Not E for the A, EA goes to I. And this sort of father becomes important. So EA goes to I. So all of a sudden it's hata on ir. Now here's the beauty of the first declension, which again covers so many of the words that you and I are going to encounter. Ta hata an ir salach. The man's hat is dirty. And again here, ta hati navar salach. The men's hats are, are dirty. Now we're not even going to talk about that. Right? We're just going to forget about that tonight because this is what we want to focus on. The Tishel Ginnaduk Iver Uha. The Tishel Ginnaduk, the genitive case singular. So just to remind ourselves again, let's go back to the previous chart. All of the words in the first declensions, the first of two we're looking at tonight, are masculine. They end on a broad consonant. And that means that that consonant must have A, O, U, or A, E before it. And in genitive uh, singular, we slender them. That's the rule. Slender the consonant the final consonant of the noun. That means put I before it. So the way that we remember the first declension is we use an I to represent uh, essentially the change that we try to implement. So the whole time with words that end in these endings in the main, 
right? You're trying to remember these endings associated with this declension. You're always trying to put in an I at the end uh, before the final consonant, essentially. Okay, so let's go and take a look at some other examples. So, Ansagert is a log ulra as well, okay? So it's that priest. There's nothing before it. Now, the letter S is quite unique because the letter S, it doesn't take a H in the context of Tisha Ginnuk, okay? Um, but if you were to say something like my priest, you could say Mohagert, all right. But S is quite peculiar because the Shevu effect for an S is a T before it, right? So the H effect in the context of Tisha Ginnuk is that you actually put a T before rather than a H after it. So if you recall, going back to our lesson from the last night, we're saying that something, a consonant, a masculine consonant, normally doesn't have any H on it, but in the Tisha Ginnuk it gets a H. What we're saying is for the letter S, it gets a T before it. So that's essentially what we're going to do here now. There's going to be a T coming before the S. So Ta and Sagar Sachak, their priest is in the house. So that's in Tisha Amnok there. Ta na Sagar Sachak, their priest, slender to make a plural, are in the house. Dead simple, that's nominative case, simple. Now, that Shine Kota An Taggart, that is the priest uh, quote. What do we do? Number one, on remains is on because it's masculine. Number two, and this is the key bit, with an S. We can't put a H in it, but the H for an S is a T before. So this becomes chak on ts ta something. And out here, the rule is at the end of the word, which is all to do with declensions, where we're going to focus all our time tonight, number three, we slender it out. Put an I before um, the, well, after the last vowel, I suppose, another way to say that. Right? So chak on taggart, shin eight, kota on taggart, shin eight, chak on taggart, anything like that. Now, crucially, we also need to know what to do with vowels. If we go back and look at the rules very quickly. Again, the vowel here, we end up losing the T hyphen. That's what we do for the masculine ones in Tisha Ginnuk. So if you look at it here then, oh sorry, I've gone one too far. Tisha Amnok, Ta on Tool, Glass. So it has a T hyphen here in its singular format. Ta Na Hula, Glass. The uh, um, apples are green. Now, Vime, Eg If you remember last week, Eg was one of our conditions. It's an ing verb, right? A verbal noun, an breather, we call it. So after that, where you have the so vime gimert pella, for example, you all know that one. So vime gehe, that's a condition, a case that requires us to have the tissue ginnuk. It's a masculine noun. So rules are one, on remains is on. Two, if it has something, it loses it. Remember with the tissue ginnuk. So we lose the t hyphen. That's now gone. And we try to slender it. That's the third property, and that's the declension property. So, in each case here, so we may get an uil. No H or T or anything like that. Ogs vishi again the nul. And again, we're just not looking any longer at the iver ulra of the tishiginok tonight. We just don't want to go near that. Um, so, let me just recap very quickly. We're still on the first declension. We're dealing with nouns with a particular type of ending. And we have seen that with each and every one of them, there's a three-step process with masculine nouns. All three of them involve looking at the definite article is on, remain is on. Do you need to make a change to the shevu, lose a shevu, put a T before an S, etc. And finally, you try to slender. In every case, uh, with examples like EA going to I, uh, you try to slender the end of the word. So at this stage, hopefully everyone is clear on what we're trying to achieve in terms of the Tisha Ginnaduk, uh changes in the singular, right? We've got three steps essentially that we have to uh, take or uh, conduct uh, before we can make the, the, the correct changes. All right, so now I'm going to just move on to a couple of practices here. Now, hopefully some of you managed to download the, uh, if we like, Oberwali or Rave Ober, I was calling it online last night, the preliminary work that I sent out. Hopefully a uh, good few of you uh, downloaded that and you were able to do the pre-work involved. Um, so here, and we're going to go through every one of those. There was 25 examples given. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the 
uh, examples here and we're going to work through them how the changes are made and hopefully once this is done you'll know how to make the necessary changes so on cade roads first thing is we're going to look at the noun on rohr so the bike and dot and rohr now just in order to do this correctly um i'm going to um just click this here hopefully this will open up here and uh, we'll be able to do this okay so the first one is on rohr and we're going to go with that oh sorry i'm after doing the wrong thing there not what i wanted to do just let me click off of that um, maybe I'll do it this way. Yeah, it might be better if I do it with uh, a box around it. Okay, sorry, just slightly complicated way of doing this now, but we have it sorted now. Okay, so the bike, what's it going to be? Well, the rule is very simple. Um, we remain with on because it's masculine. So that's if we're hain. It begins with an R. Can you put a H on an R? No. Can you put a T before an R? No. So you can't change things like L, N, and R. Okay, you cannot change L, N, R. You can't make any change to them. So, tada on rohir, and all we've done is we've taken rohir and we've slendered it out here at the end. The next one, on target, a grind is dividing. So, dividing the money, relatively simple phrase, I think you would agree. Uh, can we change that? So, on target, a grind on arigid. So, we actually had enough information to make this change, a grind. That's the case, that's the verbal noun. On remain is on, step one. Step two, it had a T hyphen over here, so we've lost that, and now it's going to be arigid. So step two, the beginning of the noun, and the declension is all to do with the end. So what happened? EA changed to I. There's the standard change that we see over and over again in this declension. The next one, on mole guskal, so opening the bag. Again, you would think a very simple phrase to deal with, but you'd be surprised how many people don't know how to do it. So, V Sean, Sean was, a guskal on vola, opening the bag. So, a guskal is the situation, on remains is on. Can M take a H? Yes, it can. So, a guskal on vol, and can we make any change? Can we slender it out? Mole is in here because it's unusual, and it is one of those exceptions. And I suppose I have it in here because you are going to have exceptions to all these rules. And Mola is one of those. So just be careful. Not every single one of these will change. On far, the man count the man's head. Talk count on earlier. The man's head is grey. On remains is on. We've seen this already. Put in the H. EA goes to I. So you have the three changes there very quickly. On thrown, Egeha. So, the bread, eating the bread, you want to say. So, our sentence is, Tom McGehir Noroin, I'm eating the bread. Eating, number one, on remains is on because it's masculine. Drop the T hyphen, slender it out. Dead simple. Three steps. So, I'm hoping at this stage that you'll really begin to pick up on what these are. Uh, so, lighting the paper. So, glasa, I was lighting the paper or whatever. V me a glasa on fa pair. Now, this is a very important change. A glass of verbal noun again, on remains is on, Ivrahin, Paw pair, begins with P, can you put a H in a P? Yes you can, that's step two. And this is very important, again the fad has become a really important issue here now. E fada A goes to E fada I. And that, like EA goes to I, right, we saw that one. And E fada A goes to E fada I. So that's quite unusual and you need specifically to know that change in order to be able to do this. Um, the next one then, uh, on crown, bar, on green. The tree, top of the tree. So, ta and cat er var, the cat is on, and this is the only thing we're concerned about, the noun after bar. So, on remains is on, can you put a, C, a H and C? Yes, you can. Can you slender out A and N? Yes, you can. Put an I in after the last vowel. Okay? The next one, on tiran, the iron, bara, a bar of iron. So, chonic me bara I saw the iron bar, right? Or the bar of iron, if you want to call it that. On remains on. We lose this T hyphen here. It's gone, and we slender it out. So, like crown, okay, it's A-N-N, A-N-N. Now, be careful. It's not L-A-N-N, as you're going to see in a few minutes. That's a different ending. So, A-N-N is a different ending to L-A-N-N. L-A-N-N. Gamleshka. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just going to take drop over there for one second.
L-A-N-N, uh, L-A-N-N is a feminine ending, so just watch out for little things like that, or they might catch you out. Uh, Kate Quidella, uh, on Canuck. So you actually probably know this phrase very well with Canuck, the hill, Ixul. So walking the hill, Vime Ixul on Chinnick. And a lot of you no doubt know the phrase bar on Chinnick. So at the top of the tree there a few minutes ago, bar on Chinnick. And you probably often wondered why was it that? Well, on remains is on because it's masculine. Uh, C can take a H, so that's second step. And you slender it out simply, third step. So this one, two, three model with masculine nouns, first attention is absolutely constant, never changes. Ta litru on ukil mi uh the spelling of the word is incorrect. So litru and fuckle, uh on remains on. Can you put a H and F? Yes, you can. Can you slender it out? Yes, you can. So the le the spelling of the word is incorrect. Next one, uh, the middle of the summer. We all know this, or we should know this. Dimmer may alor on Tarig. I played in the middle of the summer. Now I have a capital S in there for no particular reason. That's just the way I typed it out. Uh, Ilor. Re vocal kohitcha. One of the six cases we had last week. Ivra do. So that's the case. Second thing really is on remains is on. Now, if you remember we had Chalk and Taggart and the priest house. So something on TS. The H for an S is effectively a T before, right? So we saw that a few minutes ago. If we go back here, S, the H for it is a T riv, a T before. So here we're going to have the same thing. Dimmer may ilor on taurig. Step number two was this. And then can you slender out ADH? Yes, it can. So those ADH endings, EADH, are pretty much standard uh, masculine endings, first declension. Uh, the road, repairing the road, so verbal noun. On remains is on. Can you put a H and a B? Yes, it can. Slender it out. And then a couple of more examples very quickly. Cool mate clog on tape hill. I heard the clock of the church. So the church clock. On remains is on. T before the S. And again, we see E for the A going to E for the I. So we've had two examples of that. We have paw pair and we have shape hill as two great examples of that. Uh, on time at the wood, piece a piece of wood. So Yarshe, piece and I'm at he. Uh, cut piece of the piece of the wood right so on remains on we drop the t hyphen slender it out and the final one the value of the gold i recognize luch on or very simply on remains is on we've lost the t hyphen we slender it out okay so at this stage i'm actually going to invite you mos feder uh ma ta kupla keshugut uh is fader lat e the hiola humanish a refust admin at leavencert irish dot com ta on inog shin or uskal to gum and river agus hurhin falta riv keshtena egan winter show uh rode eganella tomigui follow mock on fader la gachtena um on Kraila show this broadcast a clustal egart agus will gach rode eg obrigart so um Tommy Giri Ash Olis on show some feedback so just before we do anything else I'd really appreciate if you could just send me a quick email to admin at leavensardirish dot com and just let me know is everything working okay will gach rode carcal or can you hear everything is it making sense have you any questions so uh, lever dull um, denigation and ish do that now please. Uh, before we do anything else and I'll just prepare the next screen so we'll just take a little break for about 30 seconds there to give you a chance send me an email let me know everything's okay so just curve me or calorifying no matter one I'll just uh, mute it for one moment here Okay, Suladia ta gachtene eg close grieved na chaktrichti shin agus yome kupla den chaktrichin a gaun kupla nomad. Anish, lanami the raig sadarachid den chaktenacht leshin darat di a cleanet. A ta sulagum gamemi kriechne an sha harte kahu treshini so ta harte kahu ur a clay gala falke gwen. So there's around another quarter of an hour left for those who are wondering how long we're going to go on. Uh, so on darat di a cleanet, the second declension, shin an rod. A veg a yen of a gun and ish. Agus, um, na hanamokal of winning lesson de cleaner shot, the nouns associated with this declension. Toshid galer winnish gnuch, they're all feminine. Shakasle, 
im schlieve August Chach. Now I'm going to come back to that in a minute. So they're all feminine except for these three, which obviously are masculine. Creek Nien Sheet are Hunson Lahanoquil, so they can fi finish on a broad or slender consonant. So that particular rule doesn't help us. Senever Uhu Ginnedoch in the singular genitive. Quailiter Hunson Dernoch and Anamokil. So you slender or slenderize the final consonant of the noun, which we did in the first attention, but crucially, August Quarter Elesh, and you add an e to it. So, Kasulesh and Gedeachlina, like the first attention, where we had an i, and Dardeachlina is defined by the e that we tried to put at the end of every word here. Agus an shin egos anamokal ilshulach, in the case of a what we call a polysyllabic. A noun, so more than two syllables. A creaknin or e no e a c h no a c h. If they finish on e a c h or a c h, a reiter on creak go a i fada no i fada. You change the ending to a i fada or i fada. Okay, so that's uh, there's two essential changes here. There's the a i fada i fada and there's the e ending that we look for. Okay, so we can mean anish. We'll take a look now at. Couple sample. So on Chachten, we all know this word very well. It begins with an S. And like I said, with the masculine nouns in the genitive, the H for an S is a T before it. And if you remember, going back to our lesson last week, we looked at feminine nouns such as ban becomes on van. Woman or a woman, on van, their woman. So where you put on before it, it requires a shevu, and the shevu for a, an S is effectively a T before. So, on Chachtan, they're weak. And you all know this phrase because how do you say last week? You say, on Chachtan Shokata. So, very simply, then, if we then work down through this, we see that vi on Chachtan Gabra, the week was good. It's Tishul Amnok, it's not Tishul Ginnok. Very simple sentence. There's no, you know, there's nothing before on Chachtan here that puts it into the Tishul Ginnok. Remember, we've six situations where do that, where we do that. Vina shachtin yigabra. The weeks were good. Very simple plural of shachtin. It's malum tusna shachtina. I like the beginning of the week. Now, tusna shachtina. It's something of the. It's possession. It's the beginning of the week. It's malo tusna shachtini. So we're not even going to talk about the plural of tishiginok here tonight. And by the way, this first time you've seen this, this is what we call a train ulra. Okay, train ulra. Train means strong or louder, right? So train ulra is a strong plural. Uh, but as I say, we're not going to deal with that tonight. It will just confuse everyone. So it's malum tusna shachtana. As you can see, what has actually happened here is on change to na. This was a major part of our lesson last week. I'm just going to make that, uh, bring that back, sorry. This was a huge part of our lesson last week. There is one situation in the Irish language where na represents a singular. It's with a feminine noun in the Tishal Ginnaduk. Okay? So it's the only situation where on goes to na in a singular format. A feminine noun in the Tishal Ginnaduk. And Shachtan is a feminine noun. Ends in I-N. It's easy to identify. Uh, so on goes to na. We lose something we have in the Tisha Ginnok. So the, the simple rule is for the start of the word, if it normally has something, it loses it. If it doesn't have something, it gains uh, something. So it's just knowing again those couple of charts that I always refer to back at the start. So it loses the T, that's gone. So one step, Ivrahain, on goes to now with feminine nouns, two, lose at the start, slender it out, it's already slender. So you look for whether it's already slender, and quite a lot of them are slender in this particular declension. And finally, Kurtur Elish, you put an E at the end of it. Okay? So that's Shachtan, that's an easy enough or simple enough one to do it. Here's another one that you all know very well now. If you remember earlier, we had Kown and we had Crown, they ended in ANN, -N, right? But I specifically referred to LANN -N and said this is a feminine ending. So, ta on fictolin, chuig me gudi on fictolin. If you're in class and your teacher is constantly correcting you saying a term like this, it's on fictolin. It has a H because it is feminine. On van is feminine. It has a H. On fictolin is feminine. P 
can take a H. So, uh, very simply, Ta an Fictorla Nua. The cinema is new, and Ta na Fictorla, the plural of L A N N is L A N N A, and Ta na Fictorla na Oskelta. The cinemas are open. Ta da na Fictorla na Gujas. Now, what has happened here? It's the colour of the cinema. So it's again that shell of that possession. It's the colour belonging to the cinema. So what are our steps again? Ivrahin. I'll get rid of the revealer there for a second. Ivrahin. Uh, on goes to na. Uh, it had a H, it loses it. So that's started word. And the clenching is all out here. Can you slender L A N N? Yes, you can. Put in an I. And crucially, with the second clenching, instead of three steps, we have four. We try to slender it and we add an E where possible. And here we've got the tissue gill in our plural. We're not even going to go into that. All right, so the Donna Pictor in a Gujas, the color of the cinema is nice. And then if we take a very quick look then at another one before we get into 10 or 15 examples together, on Vach, it's a La Gullera, right? We don't need to worry about that tonight. But it's De B. Uh, ta on Vach, a Gettel to B is flying. Ta on the Bach, a Gettel to Bs are flying. Ta Ober na Becca le Fecca. Now there's quite a few things going on here, right? First of all, on goes to Na. Second one, it loses the H. And if you remember, it began with EA and one of our rules is EA goes to I. That's for the first declension, right? But what we see in the second declension is EA can go to EI. Now, don't confuse this with something like chalk, if in case you're thinking that chalk is in this declension, but let's let's not confuse it with that. EA goes to EI. So here you can see EA goes to EI, that's the third step, and finally we try always to add an E. So ta obrna bekele fecal, you can see the B's works. Alright? And we're not going to worry about the plural for a minute. And the final one is an ought. Ta an ought show If you actually think about it, you know this well. Feminine nouns that begin uh, with a vowel don't have anything before them. So ta an ought show this place is lovely. Uh, so very simply, ta an ought show gahoin, this place is lovely. Ta an Lon Ladina, you make them plural by putting a H for and uh, E A N N A like Peter Lena, etc. Now, Tau Glor na the the sound of the place is unbelievable. Glor na on change to na. That's if Rahane. With a vowel that's feminine in the set in the Tishal Ginaduk, because we don't want this A clashing with this A, what we do is we put a H between between it. So if you remember, ought doesn't have anything normally in Tisha Ginnuk, it therefore needs to gain something. And what's the, the gain for a vowel? It's a H before. So Toglor na hote, it's already slender like Shachtan was, as I said, a lot of them are. So two steps, three steps, we can't slender it anymore. But yes, we can um, add in an E. So a phrase that you all know very well is Erfud na hote, Visha Erfud na hote, it was all over the place. Right? And the last, the plural of Tishigina, that we're not going to bother with that. All right? So hopefully now that's going to uh, explain to a lot of you what's going on here. Um, again, Arish, Matayin Keshgut, just send them into admin at leavensertirish.com, Leverdal. Okay, Kekwika Kwidala, let's get on to the next bit. Uh, and what we're going to do here is I'm going to bring up again a couple of practice items. So before I get into this, we mentioned earlier, chak, im, and shliev. So before I get into all of this, I simply call this tims. Right? If you can remember it like this, there are three major exceptions to the first and second declension, and they're all here. Chak, im, and shliev. They are masculine, but they are in the second declension. Now what that means is the start of their words will have masculine properties when changes are required, but the end of their words will have second declension properties. Okay? So I'm just going to clear that. Tim's Chakim and Schlieff, they are masculine, but they're second declension uh, properties. So let's take a look then at some of the examples that we have in terms of the uh, or some of the answers that we have. So let's look at the first one here. On Vostok, the rain is uh, simple enough. We all know the rain. Fum the Boshti is the um, sound of the rain. So on change to na, 
you drop the H on Vostok and if you remember uh, words more than one syllable they change now chalk itself just changed to T so it's an easy one to do E-A-C-H Fum na Bosch so there's three ch four changes here essentially uh, on change to na drop the H we can't slender it out anymore because it already has that slenderization um, but in actual fact the E-A-C-H's are a little bit different in the sense that the whole end of the word changes so just be careful with that uh, the next one on vos the palm or the hand bula na is the beating of the hand or the palm so uh, you you know the phrase bula vos which is a different thing but what you do is you go on goes to na slender it out add an e right drop the h so four steps every single time the next one on throne is the nose so sorry that's s r o for n on throne the nose the skin of the nose is cracking the shronya so on goes to na we lose the t we slender it out we add any four steps every time k kaunella next one on green now a lot of you might be, might have been you know wondering for um a long time you know vian green news well that's why there's a h in it octa chasna grainya uh uh good or something like that the, the heat of sun is terrible uh ta chasna grainya so on goes to na we lose the h uh, e fada or sorry, I A. Yeah, this is what I wanted to come to on this example. I A goes to E fada I. Now you actually know quite a few examples with this. Goes to E fada I. So I A goes to E fada I. Chasna Um And then you add an E. Okay. So we've seen quite a number of changes tonight. E A goes to I. E fada A goes to E fada I. E A can go to E I. And then I A can go to E for A. These are normally in the middle of the word somewhere. And with all of them though, you're trying to put on, where possible, you're trying to put on that E at the end. Now, this is really getting into the the, the, the meat of this, you know. We know that Schlieve, Tim's, Chalk, Im and Schlieve are masculine, but they're in the second declension. But because they're masculine, their properties will have masculine changes at the beginning of the word. On will remain as on because it's masculine, it's not feminine. And similarly, it doesn't have a shave on it because it's masculine, but it gains it in this declension. And, or say, it gains it because it's in the Tishigiruk. So, as if it was just any masculine word, on stays as on, and the S, like Sagart, gets a T before it. Now, the next bit. IA, if you remember a few minutes ago, goes to E for the I. So, one, two, three changes. And finally, the fourth one's the ID. All right. Now I think of all the ones tonight, if you could understand those four, or sorry, those four steps, and what's come before us, that will make a big difference to you because this is normally a kind of an aha moment for a lot of people. Boren Schleve. Certainly, I know with students in class when they see all that together and they actually understand it, that makes a phenomenal difference because now you have seen, I suppose some of the absolutely key rules at this stage so you know that's going to make a, a huge difference to you if you fully get what i've just said uh on hus routine nequisha born nequisha any of those things so the ankle of the foot routine nequisha drop the h slender it e on goes to na scoob born a scuiba right again on goes to na step one now se is unusual so there's a few of them now we've got se um you know things like throne is sr it's okay but sc is very unusual we can't do anything in terms of a, a h or a t before right so just be careful with that so sc can't be changed but you need to always look to start a word third step can you slender it yes can you put in an e yes barn a scuiba on on tool so the i drop on goes to now because it's feminine drop the t it's already slender add an e four steps there in front of you. The next one, Tusna Madden, a great one. On goes to Nak as feminine, it on Vaden, on Vaden Dargion, you'd all know as a phrase. So drop the H, it's already slender, add the Tusna Madden. Uh, Blasanima, it's masculine, it's im, it loses its T hyphen, it's already slender, you add an E. Right, so that's one of the exceptions. Now, this is a great example. I'm constantly talking about this one as one to remember. On inog, the window, a guskult na finoige, on goes to na, drop the h, slender it out, 
add the E okay now I know there may be some people who are watching this that are still not sure what this slendering and, and broadening means you you do need to know that um, and as I said there's a lesson I do as part of a grammar course that you can you can take a look at on that if you want at some stage um, on long August 6th the linga so sailing the um, ship and it's Tishigina because of Ekshola. On goes to Na. You can't put anything on an L. So I mentioned it before. Ellen and Ori can't do anything with them. Slender it out. Add an E. Okay. And then the last two or three examples on this list. Er fudna parka. Everyone knows. Rishay trasna na parka. You know, this is standard thing we see in some of the straw picture. He ran across the field. On goes to Na. So it's on fork. Right. On fork. Doom to the pitch is closed or the field is closed. On goes to na, drop the H, right? So that's gone. It's always slender with pork, add an E. Okay? And on Ive, it's a word you're constantly using, the problem. This, the heart of the problem, is she creel or in the five bet? No. So because you're using this so much in class in your writing, it's critical that you understand what five is. So it's creel or na five On Ive, the problem. Tan Ive show a garinous massa. This problem is getting worse. So you use that every single day in class, probably. Is she creelor in the five and no? The heart of the problem is. So creelor is heart of. Heart of the problem. So possession is the case. On goes to na. You drop the H. You slender it out. And you add an E. In case you're wondering, you have to slender out because B, H and D are all consonants. The first place that you can put in any kind of slenderization is over here. Is uh, there after the A. So that's why it's in there. And you add an E at the end. So that will hopefully explain for a lot of people who just don't understand that term. And the final one you all know. Ban on T. D on T. Chalk. The EACHs generally um, will move towards uh, IFADAs. Especially if it's chalk. Right? If, if the term is chalk it always goes to T. So D on T. So T, anything that ends in T E A C H, you're heading to T IFADA. Right? Uh, D and on T, on remains is on. You can't put anything on a D or a T anyway, which if you haven't copped onto that at this stage, um, here it is for you very clearly, and the ACH goes to Ifada. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, Matayen um, Keshkut again, just send it through to me there in the email admin at leavensartirish.com. And again, this is a live session tonight. We've just hit quarter past nine. I've got, for those who did some of the rave over, as we call it, um, now, maybe for those who didn't do the uh, rave over, I'll go to the very end here. So what I've done is, um, if you wanted to stop your lesson now, if you're watching a replay of this, um, this is a little bit of uh, Oberwalia. And what I'm asking you to do is, there's a whole heap of Tisha Ginnaduk phrases in here that you should have some idea uh, how to handle now. Now, actually, in the next bit of lesson, I'm going to go through for those who did do the preliminary work and are looking for the answers. Some of the phrases are in here, too. But there's a whole heap of Tisha Ginnaduk cases in this, and I'd like you uh, to have a go at this. And the first thing I'll do next week when I'm doing the live lesson, which will be again at half eight next week because I have a meeting beforehand, uh, again we'll be live at half eight. You can do that bit of work and you'll be able to uh, make a comparison. Now, if you like, you can send me an email to admin at leavensartirish.com and I will actually accept. Uh, pieces of work from people and I'll take a look at it and in some cases I might take examples of what you've written down uh, without mentioning your name and share it with people in the lesson next week to let people see what different options people came up with and then I'll obviously correct it so this is a bit of homework if you want to press pause if you're on a replay you can look and do the homework now uh, for those who actually did do the preliminary work I'm going to go through and correct these uh, five sets very quickly um, so this is going to take about five minutes will be done in Kuid Nomad all right, so Vishon Elohar, very simply, it's masculine because the T hyphen, so we lose that on ASP week. We slender it out. The next one, Vifyon a mask on lower, we just slender it out. It's first declension on remains is on, simple as. It ends in AR, tells us it's a masculine noun. This ends in AS, it's a masculine noun. On remains is on, put in the H and slender it out on Chuntish. Nilche Gobert, the VAR, on account of the Revok of Kohitcha, on remains is on, ends in AR, standard masculine ending. Put on a H, on a G, slender it out, the VAR on Galer. Vilimig Brisha, now, on clock tells us it's feminine, so on must change to Na. We lose the H, we slender it out, and you add the Igbrisha Neklicha, which is, you might think that's breaking the rocks or the stones, but it's not. 
it's a brish and a clicker, it's breaking the the, the stone. It's layer gwil she kalta ilor a lot of you know this phrase on khil it's got a hitch so it's a lor na drop the hitch it's always slender adeni ilor na quilla ni malen da na kalka it's feminine lose the hitch it's always slender adeni v shek shena make twos on now it's masculine it begins with an s so with sagrat like you saw earlier twos on tesh uin slender it out uh, so slender it by putting in an, an i after the last broad vowel so that's you so the i goes after it now this one a c h right it's standard change this a c h first declension goes to a i g h okay so just watch out for those ones and e a c h in the first declension will go to i g h so that's a common ending that we see as well um so teresh on remains as on, loses the uh, T hyphen, and ACH goes to AIGH, so that'll be AIGH there. A two terration arrig after the spring. The banished or on remains as on, there's no H, and so we know it's feminine, it needs a H, and remember EA goes to I, so it's the banished or on ergen of Oslohar, the manager of the building was absent. Todoris on, now, um, I think I may have put up on purpose if I remember uh possibly I left a file out here in one day exercise I gave you last night, but Todurus on on there's nothing before it so we know it's masculine. It was feminine have a T before it. So on remains is on. It now requires a T and E for the A goes to E for the I. So Todurus Durus on tape il dunta or madden. Yilan firmor car on remains as on because T hyphen tells you before vowel that's masculine. Lose the T hyphen, slender it out. Yield on farmer car nassel. In the farmer sold the the donkey cart uh, yesterday. Vrishmo grahar chak on vobog. So we know this is feminine. It's like fwinog. So on goes to na. Chak na. Loses the H. Ba boig. Slender it. Add an E. Four steps. Chak na ba boige. Dahin she buska on. We know it's masculine because there's nothing there. So put on a H. Slender it out. Beg tarkor. On Erem, we know it's feminine, loses the H, on goes to now because it's feminine, it's always slender, add an E, right? So, Tarakor and the farm mass over, in fact, the tractors of the farm tractor was out for a while. Vikaun, now the phrase, Tomev win the wicker, I'm always using this phrase, on the pig's back. So, count the wicker, the pig's head, it's a H, so we know it's feminine, on goes to now. lose the H, slender it out, add an E, or win the wicker, there you have it. Vikaut, and then on Vostok tells it's feminine, on goes to na. So it's na, kuk, na, boshti, lose the h, and the chak goes to ti father. Okay? So kuk, na, boshti, the strength of the rain. It's malam fuim, and we all know this phrase very, very well. On re, it's feminine with a h, so on goes to na. You lose the h, you slender it out, add an e. What's the phrase we all know it? Naguiha, or nos naguiha. Rishe, or nos naguiha. You ran like the wind. That is why, for those of you who have never known before now, that's why it's a nos naguihe, ran like the wind, not the plural of the wind. Big sieve, again, on tenuk, it's masculine, we know that. On remains is on, lose the T hyphen, ACH goes to AIGH. So, the sieve and enig, the market site was a gahrugian shachtana, or begshe gahrugian shachtana will be changed in a, uh, a week. A tus on, there's nothing before it, so we know it's masculine, so it gains that, on remains on, because masculine, slender out, two centile shot, near a faki, at the beginning of this life, he had nothing. Agasa, it's even lum da, na, because it's feminine, we know that, take out the h, slender it, e. It's even lum da, na broigish, I love the colour of that, um, shu, chui gachtan is the skull, chun, to the funeral, on, becomes na, because it's feminine, it has something before it. It loses it now. It's always slender. Add an e. Chunna sochrida. Tom Winter. Everyone should know this in the countryside. It's on tua. Now D and T doesn't have anything, but this A T H ending is a masculine or is a feminine ending, right? So on goes to na. You slender it out and you add an e. And now it's winter natuiha. Uh, so egarni severed. So the people of the countryside are getting wealthier well maybe nice uh but that might be the phrase uh neil quote the power of the church 
now church is an organization not a church physical cooked on change to now because there's nothing before so that means it's feminine so cooked now remember we add a h before a vowel it's already slender and we add an e so cooked now haglish at only small to bar on now e a n n be careful with this e a goes to i very simple it's on pion we know it's masculine on remains on put on the h to bar and fin brish danish Okay, so Shine, uh, Shin Derelish and Gyak the Nocht, Tasula Gum Gervin, Shib Tanavag is Tarvas and Gyak Shah Nocht, uh, and Chakton Shahuggan, Er Ihe de Derdin Rish, Bemid and Shah Eglahur Tresh Hucht, Agus uh, Sholomi Rifus, Hui Gakdina, Eg Fogart, uh, and Gyak Dagus Kirvega Yenavagun. So next week I'll send out an email again. Uh, letting you know what the lesson will be to those who are on our newsletter don't forget you can download our app on the google uh, play store and on the apple tunes uh, apple or app store should i say and you can contact me via email at admin at evensartirish.com august quarren fault of riv nekesha tar guts august then me gakir con karulat uh, just if you don't mind you might uh, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel here and uh, maybe give uh, the Facebook page a visit and perhaps uh, like it and share it with your friends Irin the Blina Shaw be me de cur Glorlor Oshna Chagish or Oshna Chagish Gagas Oshna Folamela or Faldiv August Suladom Suladia be me now Karuliv um, so Gurmil Malgriv August to Sulagum Gavekmishiv Erlina Rish Ekanam Shah and Chakton Shah Hogan. Iwagriv. <laughs>